There you go. Mr. Pete. There that he goes, a, the lead. That is a loop. That was a loop, wasn't That's it? That's the way to start a Monday it was, morning. It that was. That is a way to start a Monday morning. It was the loop. Welcome back to Anderson's TV, everybody. Mm. Hello. Uh, I'm going to just run through some housekeeping. Housekeeping. Right? And I'm going to add an extra piece of housekeeping in today. But first of all, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And you might win something. Yes, we're giving away prizes every time our subscriber count hits 50,000 uh, new subscribers. Yes. You could be the first subscriber or the last subscriber. You're in the hat to win a prize. There it is. We use timestamps in these videos. So if you're looking to see what's happening later in the video, then check those yeah. out below. Uh, please For buy clothes. All the Anderson's yeah. merch you see is available. And here's a new bit of housekeeping. If you get a reply to one of your comments from Telegram going, hey, it's Anderson's here, you've won something. It's all a massive scam. It's happening on everyone's YouTube sites at the moment. It's a complete pain in the ass. Uh, but don't, yes, don't, don't engage. ever engage unless it's the official Anderson's YouTube page contacting you. Right, yes, Mr. Pete. But they even then don't engage. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sire. Yeah. Wow. This is quite interesting, Double isn't it? Wow, right? Well, it, I love the guitars every time they bring out new guitars. They're always like spot on, beautiful guitars, great value for money. But what happened was last year or something. Well, I this think. one was in it, particular is special, this, too, this, isn't this it? Is, this is particular because yeah. they asked me, it was like, thank you, Pete, for doing all the stuff you've done with the videos and stuff. So they, they asked me, so if you could make a Sire guitar, what would you? have you know how would you want it and i said how about an 87 with some p90s in it because i thought I've well got, you've I've got just this, literally I've, didn't you just get that 330 a few months before and you were yeah, like yeah, oh, yes. i'm into this yes yeah, so i'm into the uh, to the p90s and the tone and all that stuff and i love these guitars and i didn't have one and they were like but we'll we'll make you one if you want to try it out so fine okay and a while went past and then all of a sudden the guitar turned up. I did a video on unboxing on my on my own YouTube channel and it's just such a great guitar. Just um, to show you that it does really exist. This yeah. is Pete's personal one. There it is. Um, um, here's the one. Well, actually, in fact, you can here, just see it over my here's shoulder. Here's the one here's, in the color. Here's the sort of stock one. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is a... And then, so I did the unboxing and I did a video on my, you know, thank you for the guitar. So I really uh, lovely of you to, to gift me with a guitar. And then everybody went, I want one. I want one, I want one, can I have one, can I have one? And they were like, well, well, let's see. And a lot of people were asking about it. So they went, okay, we'll make it. And here it is. Amazing. So the two guitars we've got today are, yeah. this is an H7. Yeah. Okay, so actually in all fairness, it's, it's um, not quite a, um, it's not quite a 330. No. Um, so it's the H7 is a is a three three five inspired yeah. guitar. So it's a center block guitar. You've got yeah. the big piece of wood through the middle and then the hollow kind of wings either side. Yes. Uh, and again, there'll be a video up there, so you 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 absolutely can buy this guitar with two humbuckers on it. So yeah. again, it'll be like a three two five. Yeah. Same for the L seven, right? So the L seven again was originally released as a dual humbucker guitar. Yeah. It's still available as a dual humbucker guitar, but now we have the H seven V and the L seven V. Yeah. Um, which are P ninety loaded. Yeah. You've got the, the dog, dog ears, ears haven't which you? is I've amazing. Got the regular soap bar shape ones. Yeah. I love um, the dog ears. They look so cool on on this shape. Yes. So let's hear some tones from this. Do you know what we should yeah. do as well? The, 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 the H7V that Sire made for Pete, it's, yeah. in terms of the guitar, it's identical to Completely this one. Completely the same. Other than the fact that these have Sire's own brand yes. P90s on them. Yeah. And the very first one was a, a set of Seema Duncan Antiquity yeah. series. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I'm really, for me, Sire, you know, with their heritage in bass guitars and bass preamps and electronics and stuff, I think Sire's own branded pickups are some of the best sounding pickups that I've heard in guitars. So I'm really interested to see yeah, what sort of a vibe they've got it? relative to an Antiquity series. Because Antiquity series P90s Expensive. are like 400 quid a set. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway, let's have a little listen. Uh, so here's just some clean tones. It's nice so fat. much clarity just, there. Yeah, clarity. Uh, middle position. It's just really nice because the that that semi hollow style with these P nineties. Because I've got the 3235, a uh, 3230, but that's a completely hollow. Yeah, it's There's a lot of, that, it's different. This one is more clear in a way. When you hear a, a, 
a 330 or, or probably the most famous P90 loaded uh, completely hollow guitar would be an Epiphone Casino, so yeah. John Lennon kind of vibe. It's very jangly, isn't it? All, almost. It's the, the it's, hollow it's, sound. It's in its own kind of camp of tone. Whereas yeah. I think when you take you a center that. block guitar and put P90s on it, you're still in that kind of more familiar territory with, with you know, that sort of Gibson-y kind of sound. But yeah. it's just, instead of it being slightly darker and perhaps like a humbucker would be a little bit less treble, a little bit sort of uh, more mellow sounding. It's got that extra bit of sparkle and yeah, I, I and really like sustained. it. This yeah. is On a clean sound, wow. you know. So that was the bridge this picked up. Great. Here's a bit of uh, just gain, Dane. It's great to play these guitars. They just set up really nicely from the, from the factory. That's a proper, almost like, almost like a stratty, telly. It's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. It's great. And you did that whole demo either with no pedals at all or just with a drive pedal. Yeah, just with a drive pedal. Which is always, I think, always kind of like if you're not searching for like, oh, I need another pedal, I need another pedal, pedal it's a good sign that the yeah, guitar it, on its absolutely. own is, is good. It's just a lovely, lovely so, guitar neck, it's great, it looks specs, wicked. Specs uh, for your um, information here is in no particular order. It's obviously a semi hollow shape with a center block. Yep. Um, it's a maple center block, so with, it, with laminate maple back and sides. Yep. A flame maple top, as you can see. Um, then it's uh, 24 and three quarter inch scale length okay. with an ebony fretboard. And bizarrely, I've never seen this done before. Sire have trademarked their um, the word they use for their fingerboard rolling. Uh, so they call it now. Yeah. It's got the edgeless. Edgeless. Uh, there's no edge. Yeah. So one of the things Sire have always done on their electric it's beautiful. guitars, uh, in fact, all their guitars, is get that really nice played in rolled yeah. edge. Um, 12 inch fingerboard radius, 22 frets, bone nut, all that good nice stuff. Nice intonation um, as well. Now, well, let's, whilst we're doing that, before we try the L7, we've got to compare it to okay. the um, one with the antiquity pickups. Um, and while we're doing that, I will just say the, the, the base right handed model uh, is, let me just tell you in fact, let me just go back here. So yeah, the base right-handed model, which comes in either the Cherry Sunburst or the Tobacco Sunburst is 619. It's loony affordable. It's good price. And then there are some upgrades, which again, dive on over to the website. If you pay a little bit more, you can have uh, black with gold hardware. Which, which is behind looks you there. beautiful. Yeah, yeah here yeah. it is. Let me just show you this. Yeah. Wow, I've, I feel like I've got way too many guitars in my hands here. So black with the gold oh, hardware. That is good great. as well. So shades of BB King or something coming yeah. at me there. Um, and P then P90 uh, King. there are left-handed versions as left -handed. well in either that colour, the Tobacco Sunburst, or the black with gold hardware. Uh, but check them out on the, on the site. But yes, let's yeah, do this. Let's let's do let, how different do they sound, Mr. Pete? Here's the neck pickup. I think the strings are brighter on the new yeah, guitar than the old guitar. Yeah, I think might need some new strings in there, but I think other it's, than that, it's, I think what they, I think when I wow. ask for those, and I think they might have just, you know, 
then it was a good fit, and then they gone, well, let's make our own version of those pickups. Yeah. And th- they have. Sounds great. Mm. The, o- the other thing, again, if you, you, hopefully you guys have seen some Sire videos over the last few years, because, again, they, they make bass guitars, um, acoustic guitars, and electric guitars. The bass guitar is the biggest catalog, the biggest range of guitars for them. Um, but they do this cool thing where on the bass guitars, they got Marcus Miller to kind of endorse mm-hmm. the whole range yep. and, and collaborate on designs for the whole range. And the electric guitar range, they've had Larry Carlton do that with. Yeah. And some, yeah, I've always thought with Larry Carlton, you know, if you have a Sire Strat style guitar and it's got Larry Carlton's name on the headstock, you can't, you're sort of going, did he play Strat? So I'm sure he did at some point or other, but he's not synonymous with them. Yes. But he's totally, totally. totally he, he, I mean, again, he prior, the, prior to Mr. doing the Sire deal, yeah, that was, was his nickname, Mr. 335. He can't be that anymore. He has no. to be Mr. H7 now, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> um, Middle name, but H7. yeah, it's like there's not many people on the planet that would know more about you know how to build this style of guitar so no i think it's beautiful i don't think uh, i said it in the beginning it's where ebony fretboard block yeah, you said all that, yeah. i did say that yeah I? I really like i mean that. i really the, the black one is screaming to me well we'll jam out with that's you like, on the black one that looks so um, good i want to play on one of these so on should that, we talk anyway. about the l7 yeah go for it go okay for it. so the l7 you do some tones as, on that. as you know is a as you can see rather is a, is a single cut inspired but it's hasn't quite gone for it hasn't quite gone for the traditional vibe that, say, uh, an Epiphone Les Paul would do, or, or even in the way they've perhaps stayed very traditional with the H7. So what we've Look got here in terms top. of a, a slightly different vibe is a, a satin finished neck, oh, yeah. which gives it nice and smooth feeling. Uh, locking tuners. Locking tuners. Um, a very contemporary heel joint here, including the spoon cut on the back of the heel. Um, I, like I think it's marginally thinner than a Les Paul, so that again just contributes to it perhaps weighing a little less. Yep. That's probably where the break from tradition ends, and after that everything stays very traditional. So it's a traditional 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, uh, mahogany body, maple top, tunematic tail piece, all that kind of stuff. Now I played again that opening bit with uh, um, a little bit of compression from the JHS. What do they call the thing with the pants, underpants on underpants. it? Underpants. Is it the, whiteys? Uh, whiteys. Whitey tighty. Whitey tighty. Yeah, the, the little baby compressor, and uh, and a little bit of drive from a carbon, uh, from protein drive, so protein amplification. And I, I you know. Can you hear the comment section? Can you hear? I can hear. I can hear. Please play clean straight into the. Album. I will. I will. I even though, and I don't. I don't clean. normally do this. I started the jam with the with the volume down a bit. I don't know what it is. That's I'm, good. I'm, isn't it? I, I, Anyway, okay, just because I know you guys don't believe that guitars are allowed to have pedals sometimes, but here's no pedals. Obsessed, I must admit, who doesn't want a gold top with P90s on it? Or, yep, so same deal as before. Two base colours, if you like, that are the, the cheapest price. So 569 gets you either the gold top or the burst. I like the burst, it's got that it's sort beautiful. of uh, reddy brown kind of heavy flame top on it. Yeah, it's almost like um, tobacco. Tiny bit more gets you the black with the gold hardware. I guess the surcharges yeah. for the gold hardware. But like Pete said, you don't actually see a lot of black. P90 guitars like this with the chrome pickups. Like, it's, it's, like cla- it's like the uh, 54 Les Paul. And then, oh, all three colours, black, gold top and sunburst, available in left-handed. Go, there you Sire. Go. Right. Yeah. Uh, 
that's it, right? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just upset I, you by jamming out on the black. Uh, uh, it's okay. H seven. I think that. I mean, I love that. Uh, the bursts they do, they look really amazing with the flamey top, but there's something about that. I wish they'd do it on a white as well. If they could do a white and a, uh, a, a blue, Pelham blue version of that. Do you think the neck's a bit chunkier on the uh, H7? It is. Or is it just, no, it feels, absolutely. It's just a tiny bit. I yeah, think, I think, I think, it's, think the, again, it's, it's the satin, isn't it? It's very it's much, I think the L7 is trying to be a bit more contemporary. Yeah. And the H7 yeah. is very traditional. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh, Larry Carlton. A legend. Yeah. If you, if, again, if you're not familiar with Larry Carlton, we, here's a conversation Pete and I were having uh, last week. A scan we were going, what happens if you see a guitar that says uh, Larry Carlton on it? What if you're not familiar with Larry Carlton or not really into his music? Should it, might it put you off? And Pete came back with the um, great retort <laughs> of, uh, do you like Les Paul's music? And I'm sort of going, do I even know any of Les Paul's music, let alone do I like it or not? And I think that's the sort of... They're all so singing good guitars we talked about. Fender, Fender, it's Fender, it's a guy, he was, it's, you know... Well, I suppose well, he was just a builder rather than well, a player, So who else is there? Um, well, back in the day, probably not many. Chet Atkins maybe had a sort of a signature, yeah, yeah, the, the country thing. gen and all that kind of thing. Yeah, but do but, you even know like Les Paul's music, you know? I, Most people probably don't. I, I know what Les Paul looks like, and I when I hear him, I can picture me seeing him play some kind of pretty rapid jazzy kind of stuff yeah you know black and white sort of thing but i wouldn't i don't think i could sort of go oh yeah i've got that's you know, the song. I've got all his albums but, dude and it certainly people wouldn't don't know who the Be beatles are some people don't know who the beatles are so how would they know who les paul is i think do you know like, like in order to drive a car you have to pass like a driving test with theory i think the guitar should be the same it's like have name uh, a beatles album name a Led Zeppelin album, and if you can't name any of them, then you're not allowed to play. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, that's a bit. <laughs> right, Lee, is that it? Yes. Okay, let's finish off with the jam. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, you can win something. And uh, we love you loads. We'll we see do. you in the next one. Au revoir.